Hey guys, welcome back to Planet Tyro. I'm your host, Donald Wonder. You know, I do want to apologize first of all. You might notice a video quality dip from our regular videos. That's because I'm using my HD webcam on my MacBook, which isn't as good as my HD cam. And I'm gonna to have to do this for the next couple of discussions because I'm working, I don't have a lot of time. I don't want to bore you guys with the details. Just want to let you know why that is. Moving on, um, before we start, I want to let you guys know Planet Tower is a community, guys. I know mostly I'm doing a lot of the discussions. I have old boy on now doing some manga talk and stuff. But in future, we're gonna get you much more involved because I do wanna meet like-minded people. I said this in the very beginning. I wanna meet people that are like-minded like us, that have things that I, I'm not aware of that I can serve up for discussion to share with the community, which is awesome. So to that end, one of our most interactive subscribers, followers, t -Con from Manic Expression, she's really awesome, guys. She recently gave us like five or six book recommendations that she thought would be good for us to discuss. And I do want to say that even though we're not open to take suggestions right now, we will be in future. And when we do, we're not just going to review everything. We're going to go through, see what we think is very interesting. And we're going to serve it up for discussion right here. That's what I'm doing right now. We're talking about the sculptor. And just when I read the synopsis, and that it's going to be actually a movie adaptation of this as well, just the story alone just grabbed me. I'm so thankful for T-Con. You're awesome for recommending this book. And now I want to talk about it with you guys, just in case you haven't heard of it. Because guess what? It's awesome. <laughs> Media. This is Scott McLeod's The Sculptor. Apologies if I start looking down at my notes because I don't really, really miss anything because I had to put a lot of stuff down that I want to cover on this discussion. The Sculptor is a story about a man passionately obsessed with his craft as an artist and unfortunately he's not doing so well. I think he's, a, let's say he's at 26, 27 and when he came out of college with his degree as a sculptor, I think he was picked up by someone and he was very successful for a while but that fell apart and now he's in New York and he's not doing very well, no one's interested in his sculptures anymore and he's just so, he's a nervous wreck he's so depressed, he's got so much anxiety and he just wants to become an artist, he doesn't want to be an ordinary guy he wants to make a name for himself, he wants his art to be known and that passion comes through so much in the graphic novel through his art and the expression which I'll get to in a moment but I just want to say this character is willing to throw his life away for his art and the hook of this story is that's exactly what he gets. He gets the opportunity to give away his life. And this is not a spoiler, guys. This is on the back of the book or any synopsis you'll see online. Basically, death gives him the opportunity to give him a superpower, which gives him the ability to create art with his hands in a very fantastical and super easy way so he can get all of his inner thoughts out and become the super artist that he knows he is. But the caveat is, if he takes this deal, he's only got 200 days to live. And this is the last part I'm going to mention. He does take the deal. And the story basically follows him as he gets these superpowers to create beautiful sculptures or whatever. But this story just shows the old oddish that sometimes even when you get what you want, it's not enough. And what follows is a really humanist story about living your dreams, your ambitions, life, making choices, what the, what the value of life is, love, romance. It's another one of those really good characterized pieces that is just fascinating. It's down, apart from the fact he's got the superpower, everything else is 100% realistic. There's no other fantastical elements. And this is just a very humanist story. Before I get more into the story itself, I want to talk about the author, Scott McCloud. Now, I don't read a lot of American graphic novels. The only one I've read, which is actually very similar to this one, ironically, was Dreamcatcher, or I've got the name wrong. Dreamcatcher, Dreamcatcher, my memory. And Scott McCloud has been a comic theorist, a comic artist for, what, 20 to 30 years. But ironically, this is he's a very different kind of comic artist. Basically, he's always, he's gone more into comic theory. He's written books about how comics affect us in life, how comics are deconstructive, how we use comics as a medium. And I have to say, he's done some really, he's got three books I tried to put on the screen that 
are very interesting comic theory books and he's only actually made one comic before this the sculptor i think it's called zoot zot which was inspired by a uh well astro boy he's even said it's been inspired by a japanese manga which is awesome so it's really interesting to see an author whose deconstructive comics make his own one and i have to say guys if you've read this book already there is an amazing talk interview discussion he had i'm going to put a link to it on the screen or a link in the description where he's talking about how he came to make this graphic novel his thoughts on comic books and honestly that alone i could do i could do a, a, a video on this graphic novelist on his own because he is a very thought-provoking person but this book he's written really does show the culmination of everything he's done before in one really awesome bittersweet story the illustrations for the book are really gorgeous and i mean it's black and white but it's also got a hue of blue so it's not it's not completely black and white there is color there but it's the blue black and white that gives this book a very somber feel the character designs are really nice they look very humanistic but a little bit cartoony i actually like them i mean there's some nakedness and i just want to say for the kiddies out there there's some nakedness and some nudity but it just it's it's nice i like the illustrations like you know i read a lot of manga and stuff this isn't very comic booky but this guy's art style is really cool and i just think it looks very adult contemporary and i just thought it was refreshing the backgrounds are very well detailed the moving scenes is good he talks about this a lot in his other mo in his other deconstruction of comics and i just think he, that i can see his vision in the uh, in this story so getting back to the story i, I don't want to get into spoilers this is just a characterized drama piece about a man who's passionate about his art and you can you can relate to the story especially if you're passionate in whatever you're doing this guy is willing to give up his life to create stuff and when he does it doesn't go the way you think this is the best thing about the book just because you have all the powers in the world doesn't mean you're gonna get what you want because he goes through so much anxiety and to be honest with you it's kind of painful to watch him just struggle and not make it most of this book is just about him struggling even after this superpower he gets and his relationships with his friends and even there's a big romantic subplot in this book which is so fantastic and so heartwarming and you know i don't want to sound soppy guys but this book really won me over but uh, the, the only i don't have a criticism for the story it's kind of bittersweet it's very very bittersweet if i'm being completely honest with you and yes it's not a criticism but when the book was over I felt like this was a really good realistic story but it was it wasn't grim but it just I felt a little just a little bit depressed just just a little bit because I was like man that was some ending man that was kind of sad but I remember the last shot of this big thing that everyone's looking at which I'm not going to spoil just that last shot was truly beautiful and nearly brought a tear to my eye those manly tears nearly came out but it's a, this is a beautiful book I'm going to give the sculptor a low first class it touched me man it really did the only thing i can say is i don't think i'll read the story again because <laughs> it just it was a bit too bittersweet and even they doubled down on one element at the end i said i don't think you had to go that far but at the end of the day i like the point mr mcleod was making with the story and i think it's just very realistic now fun fact there was a bidding war for movie studios to get the movie rights to adapt this graphic novel to a movie and sony won <laughs> so this is they're trying to produce it into a movie the person they got behind the helm right now is scott rudden you might know scott rudden of no country for old men the social network and the truman show he was the producer on all three not the director but I, I think he might be the director for this movie either way this is going to make a fantastic movie and if it was a movie I could see myself definitely watching this again but the book form just just a little bit too bittersweet it's one of those stories that you only need to read once and i'm not holding it against the story i gave it a low first class but i just want to say i thought this was a beautiful story it was well done it's a very short book and i would say guys buy it man because I, I i own it now and i think it's really awesome so guys if you've read the sculptor let me know what you think in the comments down below and it's a very recent book and like i said i like to read these graphic novels because i'm i guess i've always read manga and superhero stories but there are some comic artists that do non-fiction non-superhero stories that are very characterized based and just very compelling and this story really won me over i thought it was really beautiful so guys i don't mind taking suggestions but at the moment we're just trying to get through a backlog of what we're talking about right now but 
if you really think there's something you really think we'll get into then let us know by all means i'll put it on my list i'll do the research and if it's really interesting guys we will talk about it on planet tiger so again t con i want to thank you for the suggestion this was really awesome i'm going to get to more of your you've been so active i feel like i owed you this but you know there's more to come from her and from everyone else planet tiger is a community guys so if this is your first time to Planet Tiger, well, welcome to the channel. We do all sorts of stuff here. You can see right here, guys, where we do animation, books, TV shows, movies, what have you. I would love for you to subscribe to the channel so you can get those videos straight to your YouTube feed. But until the next one, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice one. Peace out.